Now I will explain what you have to do for your drum set when you want to have the perfect dynamic control. So let's begin with the tom toms. In my case, the tom toms are like about two or three centimeters above my bass drum and they are having a little bit of an angle as you can see it right there and therefore I can hit them absolutely perfectly in the way I like them to hit and that allows me to have the full dynamic range of my toms in a very 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 good way. My symbols are located very interesting. So we have here my bell symbol which is located between my side snare, my cowbell and my hi-hat symbols and this bell here is more flat in this way and this is because I want to give the bell the full dynamic range and also get all tones out of the bell and not only one. So this is very, very, very special in the way I have mounted the bell here on uh, this position where I needed my bell. The hi-hat symbols are open enough like about 10 millimeters or so and they're very loose mounted like all of my symbols and that gives the hi-hat symbols the full dynamic range and also the full sustain. Let me demonstrate that show you uh, shortly for you. So we we'll go behind my drum kit and so you can see it right there the heights are a bit open and I can control the dynamics perfectly of my height so much so for the lightest volume to the loudest and that was extremely loud, I can tell you. And the sustain is just perfectly. So the height has the full dynamic range when the symbols are about 10 millimeters each away. And so the height symbols can vibrate freely but also can be very aggressive when it is needed. For the crash symbols, I also have them a little bit in an angle because I want to hit them like that. So you can see it. I have here a slight angle which is very important for hitting my uh, crash symbols in the way I needed to have them and you can see it on my right symbol it has also an angle and all of my symbols have an angle to be able to be hit perfectly. My floor toms as you can see it here are like about in the height of my leg right here and uh, that's the perfect height for the floor or stand toms that I can hit them and the side snare is also in the perfect height because I want to hit the rim shots out of this snare drum and this snare drum here as well. I need the rim shot out of this little 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 beast right here. This is really a extreme beast. It is poisonous and 
it is a poisonous draft to be exact because it gets so loud when I hit the rim shots out of this thing and it is just amazing and now I will come to the very very important thing the settings of the pedal so first of all I have tuned this pedal with special special ways in different special ways so as you can see it the the beaters are about like about 10 centimeters away so I can hit them and they are hitting the head in a very long way so they have this long distance because I need the full dynamic range from this very soft heart even higher than that and you can see the pedals are about like five or six centimeters above the plate right there and that is a very correct way to uh, be able to hit the pedals perfectly and the spring tension is the lowest spring tension I can get out of these springs because it is very important because I need high speed but also complete dynamic control and therefore the lowest spring tension is mostly important it is really 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 important for myself because as you can see it right here my legs are pretty thick thanks to my uh, bicycle riding which I will tell you about in the last part of this DVD and uh, you can see it they are really thick but they can reach good speeds and uh, can reach also very good dynamic ranges by using the full leg which is extremely 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 important for myself that I have the full dynamic range out of my pedals and out of my 20 to 20 inch bass drum and so therefore I am able to hit all these drums and cymbals extremely loud but also extremely softly and the cymbals allow me that because they are really really good cymbals and this is not any publicity for Samsung, for Saluda and even for Wuhan it is just one opinion and that is my personal independence opinion to all things that I own on my drum set because I don't have any endorsements and uh, I only want to have only a few endorsements cause I don't want to hurt anybody so this is the case for um, that you consider all that things that I have showed you in this part of this DVD and uh, I hope you um, enjoyed this part of this DVD and uh, let's move now to the last part of this um, DVD which is what you have to do for yourself to be able to do all this what I have demonstrated in the last uh, videos which is absolutely complete important I can tell you that and it is not a joke I'm telling 
no joke, it is just simply the pure truth. It is just the pure truth and everything because I'm a trauma science over 20 years and I know what I have to tell you and what not and what is important and what not. So um, yeah, this is the case.